The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot. As well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could be possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to A New Foes Appeared. Today's episode of A New Foes Appeared is going to be slightly random, because I don't know why I have covered variants of characters that are already in Smash Brothers, like I've done Mario with Paper Mario and Cat Mario, and Link with Wolf Link and Midna, and Totem Link, and now I'm doing a kind of variant of a character that's in Smash Brothers already, and I've already covered a sort of variant before in the early days of A New Foes Appeared. And if you want to know who it is, take a look at this. That's right, Emolga from the Pokemon series is who we are going to talk about today. I'm no stranger to going random with a whole bunch of foes in A New Foes Appeared, since I have gone random with a variety of foes before, and this kind of being a variant of Pikachu, I thought if I'm doing a second Pikachu variant in A New Foes Appeared after Plusle and Minon, I thought Emolga might be the best choice for that. And even though this is one that will likely never get in, unless it's like an Echo Fighter of Pichu or something like that, I thought it would be interesting to see how another Pikachu clone would play out in the Smash Brothers roster. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the move set, the neutral special, we have Electro Ball. Emolga charges up a ball of electricity in its paws. Growing in size, the longer the button is held. Releasing, the button launches the ball forward, and the speed and damage of Electro Ball are determined by how long the move was charged. And if used without charging, the ball is small but quick, while fully charged Electro Ball is large powerful and moves more slowly. For the side special, we have Acrobatics. Emolga dashes forward in the air, performing a series of graceful flips, and the move has multiple hits, with the final flip delivering a stronger knockback, and if the button is pressed again during the dash, Emolga can change direction once, making it a versatile move for dodging and approaching. The up special, we have Aerial Ace. Emolga performs a swift upward spinning dash that slices through the air. This move grants Emolga considerable vertical and horizontal distance, making it an excellent recovery move, and the initial spin has a small hitbox that can launch opponents if they're close, but it's not as strong as a traditional recovery attack. For the down special, we have Tailwind. 
a mulga generates a strong gust of wind with its tail that temporarily increases its movement speed and jump height. Additionally, Tailwind creates a wind box that pushes nearby opponents away, giving Emolga some breathing room, and the speed buff lasts for a few seconds, making it easier to combo or escape sticky situations. And for the final smash, we have Volt Switch. Emolga charges with a massive surge of electricity. And if it hits an opponent, the screen zooms in, and a Mulga swaps places with a group of allied Pokemon like Pikachu, Pichu, Plusle and Minan, Pachiritsu, and Togedemaru, each performing a signature electric move in quick succession before a Mulga returns to finish the attack with a powerful thunderbolt launching opponents off the screen. For the alts, the default alt would be Amolga's standard colour scheme. For the second alt, we have a shiny variant with its yellow body with white and orange accents. For the third alt would be inspired by Pachiritsu with a blue and white colour scheme. For the fourth alt, we have a Togedemaru inspired alt with grey with red and yellow accents. For the fifth ult would be Pikachu inspired, being yellow with black tipped ears. For the sixth ult would be a Dedene inspired ult with brown and orange cheeks. For the seventh ult would be inspired by Raichu, being a dark orange with a lighter belly. And the eighth ult would be a Team Rocket variant, being black with a red R on its back. For the classic mode route, we have Sky High Sparky Showdown. Round 1 would be Kirby, Round 2 would be Pikachu, Round 3 would be Meta Knight, Round 4 would be Zero Suit Samus, Round 5 would be Fox and Falco, Round 6 would be Pikachu and Pichu, and the final round would be Master Hand. For the Echo Fighter, for Amolgas, Amolga will not have an Echo Fighter with him, but the Echo Fighter would end up being for Pichu, and that's Pachiritsu. For Pachiritsu's moveset, the neutral special would be Electro Ball, similar to Pichu's Thunder Jolt, with circular trajectory. For the side special, we have Super Fang, similar to Pichu's Skull Bash, but with a biting animation and less self damage. For the up special, we have Spark, similar to Pichu's Agility, but with a damaging hitbox on the first dash. For the down special, we have Discharge, similar to Pichu's Thunder, but with localized electric burst around Pachiritsu. And for the final smash, we have Volt Switch, identical to Pichu's, but with Pachiritsu's unique animation. For the stage, we have Charge Stone Cave, from Pokemon Black and White. The stage has platforms made of magnetic stones, which occasionally shift positions due to the magnetic forces in the cave. Every so often, the cave will glow with electric energy, temporarily powering up electric type attacks. Pokemon like Joltik, Tynamo, and Kling Clang can be seen in the background with occasional appearance from legendary Pokemon Zekrom, who causes a powerful electric surge when it appears damaging all players except electric type characters like Pikachu, Pichu, Plusle and Minan, Amolga, and Pachiritsu would all be immune to electric type attacks. So guys, what did you think of Emolga? I get that Emolga is like one of the most random characters I've ever done. Considering I've already done Togepi in a new foes appeared, I thought Emolga is another random Pokemon I could do. Why not do Emolga? So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB8 out.